accuracy first. This is Duke's Three Weather. Warm air has been spreading across the region all day long, bringing the rain, also bringing <coughs> rain already reported in fog in some locations, and no fog in others. So if you haven't seen it, uh, just hang on. We think uh, lots of us may see fog as we move through the evening as the atmosphere becomes more and more saturated. We posted the temperatures on radar just to show you. We're not talking about the snow and ice tonight. If you need to run a couple of errands, you can get out there. Uh, temperatures still holding in the 40s. Paducah still reporting 53 degrees. As a matter of fact, we think even early tomorrow morning, a lot of folks are likely going to get up first thing in the morning and see wet roads, especially along and south of Route 13 into western Kentucky. This is a system that will develop throughout the day tomorrow. I know this is what everyone wants to see. Our snow numbers are probably a little smaller than other forecasts you've seen. I know everybody goes on the Internet. You're looking everywhere you can find those numbers. But we think in the northern counties, the dry air may get in just a little bit earlier and kind of limit the snow there. One to three inches. Oh, if there's a four-inch total somewhere in our band, that's not going to surprise us. But then three to six across most of southern Illinois, that's on top of a quarter to a half inch of sleet. And you drop south where there's a lot more moisture available. It could be a real, real mess. So maybe up to an inch of sleet. And on top of that, six to eight inches, I think, where this really snows everything it's got. I'm not going to be surprised by a 10-inch report. I think that's going to be along the Ohio River, but more likely into western Kentucky, where there's just more moisture available. But right now on radar, it's all rain that's coming our way. And you can see it's just starting to fill in. We expect the heaviest rains to come in later this evening. And when we say heavy rains in southern Illinois, some of us may see an inch or more in western Kentucky. It may be two inches or more of rain before the freezing starts. The temperatures, uh, as we take a little wider look and look at what's coming our way, Tulsa is 57.